Hello guys, today I'll give you a quick walkthrough of our platform drug transportations. But before we start, let me give you a quick heads up about its business model, revenue model and stakeholders or you can say various user types. So the business model of this platform is drug transportations. The site owner is earning commission as revenue using this platform. This platform has three user types. First one is carrier, you can say driver. Second one is shipper or you can say customer. And third one is admin. Here carrier will be able to accept the booking request to complete the delivery. Can also able to manage his or her trucks and their schedules. Shipper will be able to search the required carriers. Can also view and book the carriers and can give the review returns. For admin, admin will be able to manage the entire platform. Now let's talk about the environments. For carrier, this platform is having web and app both environments to perform delivery specific operations. For shippers, this platform is also having web and app both environments to perform booking specific operations. For admin, this platform is having web environment to perform management specific operations. Now I hope that you guys have basic idea about this platform and are also interested in all over the concept. Now let's take a quick drive of this platform. Welcome to the shipper app video. So this is the application that the shipper will use which means the customer will use when he or she wants to schedule a pickup and a drop off of some goods that he wants to transport. So let's get started. After signing up on the application, this is the home screen that the user or the shipper will see. There is the, the statistics for book a trip, how many trips that are already live, how many transits that he has scheduled for the future and how many trips or the transits have already been completed. The bottom of the screen explains the credit balance that he has taken, which he can use while he is making payment for the shipments. The premium search option is a unique feature in this shipper app wherein for transportation if the user is ready to pay a little extra the, he gets premium services he gets more experienced and uh, accordingly the driver is more experienced and expert in case he doesn't choose to go for premium search and he doesn't want to pay extra he gets to uh, he gets assigned to a basic driver Select type trip allows the user or the customer to select whether it is going to be a one-way transit or does he want it to be a two-way transit. The fare will vary according to that. After that, the next screen is about scheduling the pickup uh, from where the driver is supposed to pick the goods up. There can also be certain locations which the shipper can keep in favorite. Similarly, for the drop-off locations, there can be certain locations picked from the favorite or the user can simply type the location that he wants the drop-off at. Also with the drop-off details, the user can type in the receiver's contact details. Next, load weight, how much is the goods uh, weighing? Also any category in which that particular goods will go. Is it going to be the subcategory of ultra heavy or heavy or a small transit vehicle? If the goods require, then the shipper is supposed to add the documents, attach the uh, original document which are required for the clearance of the goods. By hitting next, the user can select the pickup date and time along with the drop off date and time that he wants or he prefers. According to the feasibility, after hitting next, the application itself shows the estimated delivery time. This summary has all the details that the customer has chosen. In case he wants to make changes, he can go back or else he can go ahead to the payment. The payment can be done in two ways. Either it can be done via the credit limit or it can be done via the credit card. After confirming the booking and entering the details, the pickup op offer, the pickup option for the goods has already been received by the admin. Over here, the user can check his live trips and also the user can check the completed trips on the home screen. He'll get alert as soon as the driver has been assigned for the pickup. He also has the option to save these details to, the, to his email address. If there are any 
pending payment, unpaid payment, then the user can check it over here and can also clear the payments for his completed shipments. That is it. That's how the shipper app works. Hi. You're welcome to this video wherein we'll be showcasing how the admin panel of a transportation truck software works. So right in front of you that you can see is the dashboard which is the admin dashboard. Over here you can see a lot of small small statistics which are very important for the admin to monitor when he or she is running a truck dispatching and logistics business. Over here, the admin can check the total number of carriers, shippers, agents, supervisors and many other parties who are involved in the business. Right below that, there is a section which explains the truck types usage in percentage. It uh, basically shows the types of trucks and their occupancies and their capacities. Along with that, we can also see the city-wise usage, which is also distributed into percentages. Beside that is a pie chart, which shows the booking analytics of the completed, cancelled by customers and cancelled by the system transportation jobs. All this helps an admin to keep a check on how the business analytics are going. Up next on the admin dashboard, the menu says users management under which there are shippers, carriers and users. When the admin clicks on shippers panel, the shippers screen basically shows all the registered shippers and along with that are displayed their contact details, whether they are a company or they are an individual shipper, their contact detail, their gender, their other details like date of birth and what is the status, whether they are active, whether they are actively shipping with us or not and whether they are a verified user shipper on this uh, trucking software. To view more details, the admin can also click the view uh, button and he or she can view more details like the company's name, the company's address, the VAT number and also download and check the company certificate attachment. There's also an option to basically block the shipper in case there's any issue. Up next in the user's management comes the carriers. Here the names of carriers are listed along with the type category which is the company driver or an individual carrier. There are also other details like the email, phone number and gender of the person. And again the same thing, the admin can also perform the operation of whether the status is active or not, whether verification of this particular carrier is done or not and can view more details about the same. The truck info of the carrier along with the truck details. This individual can also again be either blocked. The vehicle document PDFs are also listed over here. Admin can take a quick view. Under the users management comes the other users. These users can be the people who have registered as a user, their email address, their phone details, their gender, where do they belong to and what is their role, when was the last time that they logged in. The admin has the full right to uh, control. He can also delete, he can also add the user, he can also edit the details of the user. The next module in the admin panel of a truck transportation software is the truck management. Under the same menu, there are four different sub menus which include trucks, truck types, segment group and load types. So we will begin with the trucks. In the sub menu trucks, there are the types of trucks that are registered on this software and the trucks that are used for daily shipments. The type of truck, the carrier names and uh, make that is the manufacturer, the models, the conditions and uh, various other information about the vehicle and vehicle's health, maximum weight or capacity of the truck and uh, maximum capacity of the truck to carry the goods along with if any twist locks are available, what's the vehicle weight. Again, the admin has uh, full rights to uh, either keep uh, the vehicles available or not available on the platform. There's also a search bar in order to look for a particular 
truck that is available on the platform. The second sub menu under truck management is the truck types. Over here, the admin can view directly the types of trucks that are available and uh, the names of the same are available in English as well as Arabic over here. What's the code of that particular shipment vehicle? What are the icons? And if there's an initial fee within the city shipment fee, if there's more fee uh, for the city uh, border that has been crossed, what is the base fee, point fee, if there are any freeloading hours, what are the extra charges, and if there are any pre-purchase loading hourly charge. So all these details can be directly controlled and managed by the admin from the truck types submenu. There are booking limits, there are offloading hourly charges also. Another important aspect in the truck types is the city correction. So if there are, if there's a city change uh, that the truck crosses while making its shipment delivery, there will be a minus or a plus. That means there can be an addition or a subtraction in the base fare or in the fee for the delivery being taking place. So admin can basically take complete control over the rates. He can add the cities for origin and destination and accordingly he can set the correctional rates. After hitting save, all these reflect directly in the front end of the software and application. The next sub menu under truck management is the segment group. So over here, the admin can basically make a group example as you can see tanker and then he can add the group variants also he can make these groups on the basis of types these types can either be a selection a number or a text box the last sub menu under truck management on the admin panel is load types this load types is basically the types of goods being transferred in the shipment. It can be either ceramic, it can be cars or vehicles, it can be tankers or it can be logs on pieces of wood. These can be very delicate electric materials. These can also be animals or perishable food items. So according to that, the admin can set the base charge and however more delicate the item is the charges can be higher and vice versa admin can edit and delete both the things he can perform any operations that he wants to according to the types of goods being transited there's also a search bar in order to look for a particular item the next module on this truck transportation menu is the bookings so the admin can basically click on bookings and check out every single booking that has been made on this platform. So there are several ways that the bookings can be checked. And apart from all the details that are already available on the dashboard, the most unique feature and the most helpful feature on this uh, sub menu is the filters. So there's a date range filter. There is an origin city and destination city filter and there is a status filter which is whether the booking status is cancelled or completed or still in transit. So according to that, uh, the admin can basically check out or filter out any particular booking that he's looking for. By clicking the I button, the admin can basically view the in-depth detail about the bookings. So this includes the from and to that is the pickup and drop off location of the goods what was the pickup date and time as well as the delivery date and time below that is the truck type detail what was the type of truck who was the manufacturer of this truck what was the model of the truck so every single detail is mentioned over here what was the code of that particular delivery or that particular truck the shipper details uh, contain the customer's name, the customer's mobile number, if there are any documents that the shipper has um, uploaded. The margin details is basically the breakdown of the fare and um, this includes the VAT tax, the invoice shipper prices, the driver payout. Again, the fare details are also given in a particular breakdown. 
whether the mode of payment was in cash or was it online via card that detail is also mentioned over here the truck details contain the load type the load height what were the extra loading charges fees details like that location details are also given the trip summary that is the tracking status that was provided to the customer by the driver's end and the shipper's end is also mentioned and lastly the ratings section is also mentioned here for the overall feedback that the shipper and the driver had during the entire transit next menu which is very very important for an admin to go through in the truck management and logistics management software is the pricing factors so under pricing factors there are four different sub menus these are all basically going to affect the way the fare or the fee of the shipment will be decided so let's go through them one by one so when the admin clicks on pricing factors the four sub menus appear and uh, within those four sub menus the first is seasons in seasons there are many factors that uh, play a very important role so it can be the availability of drivers availability of trucks or the amount of traffic that is there on the roads so uh, the admin can have the right to create a season say for example the season during eid or the season during another festival or a national holiday and uh, he or she can also select the dates that the season will be uh, prevalent and then the special charges that will be applied on any shipment which will take place on those mentioned dates also the cities which will get affected with the with that particular season can be changed or managed from here so that's how the seasons aspect in the pricing factor works next sub menu is the payload dimension so the amount or the quantity of goods being transported in the shipment play an important role so say more than 2 meters or less than 2 meters of logs of wood or electrical wires or maybe animals that are being transported how many animals are there or the total weight of those animals so all of these factors can play an important role in how the base fare will be charged The admin also has the right to uh, select the cities, and he can also predefine the fares. So the names of the cities, along with the codes and regions that they belong to, are mentioned over here. Now there are some peak hours which you can see in front of you in the calendar. So the admin can uh, differ the prices according to the peak hours. and the estimated deliveries if they are taking place within the mentioned hours according to that the traffic hours that is the basic office log out hours or the namaz timings of every day also play an important role in how the pricing takes place for these shipments there's a map that you can see on your screen this is the city wide map and uh, the admin has the right to create or pinpoint the city fence so the prices can also be decided as per the cities it depends on the fuel or gas or petrol or diesel charges oil charges another sub menu under the pricing factors is the zone so this is the zone in which a particular area or a particular city lies in so the admin can create zones and any shipment that takes place between two different zones or the truck has to cross the zone borders the prices can differ accordingly these are all predefined prices admin can create a new zone by clicking the plus sign he can name the zone accordingly what is the type of that zone and can also mention the charges over there There are two more aspects in the zone sub menu of pricing factors. So the admin can take a close view on agent zones map view by clicking on that button. The agents have marked the zones. So 
admin can basically target similar areas by going back on the zone there's another button which says booking zones map view this button basically helps the admin to check out what are the zones that the maximum bookings come from next menu that the admin has to look into when it comes to the truck transportation logistics software is the reports so over here the admin can generate or check out reports these are the shipper ratings so overall which shipper has got how many ratings and reviews the carrier ratings if there's any particular feedback for them that is also displayed over here and also any kind of address changes that have taken place for the pickups or drop locations those all changes are also put over here along with the action whether the changes were approved or not after the reports menu comes the push notifications so these are the mass uh, notifications that are sent via the application so the admin can send this to both the customers and the drivers the title and the body message can be edited from here also to whom it is to be sent can also be changed under the referral management menu the admin can check the referral reports who was the one who referred and what was the employee id the code there are also some filters that can help the admin to check the referral report details similarly the sub menu of salesman and brokers under referral management has all the details of the salesman who are associated with the platform next is the knowledge base menu this knowledge base are basically the copy book answers that the support team can answer when there is a bug or a feedback or a query that the customers have asked by filling the form admin has complete control over this so if there are any changes that in the answers that are supposed to be given to the customers the admin can directly change them from here next very important module on this admin panel is the configuration so both the configurations can be handled over here uh, be it the system configurations which includes the scheduled booking hours the vat the premium fees the rpkm offers and how much should be the driver request duration before they accept the request even the fcm key and the google map key can be directly edited from this particular menu in the admin panel the email settings so if there are any mass emails to be sent those emails can be sent from here and of course the database is very important for privacy so admin can take that database backup from here application configuration involves the version upgrades so the version upgrades can be for both android and ios and also for all the users that is the carriers as well as the customers and whether or not it is a compulsory update or an optional update admin can also enable the maintenance mode from this particular menu lastly settings so these are just basic brake types that any carrier can put and um, the alerts if there are any particular alert notifications that go to the shippers to the carriers to drivers customers all of those can be set from here so this is the main operation screen that the admin can view and uh, this operation screen is basically an overview of what is going on in which city it's all one and stop solution so over here on the left hand side there are statistics for the fmco online how many open alerts are there how many trucks are online as of now and how many trucks are on the job completing a particular delivery in transit the center shows the map which is a map view of how many uh, transits are actually happening right now on the right hand side the statistics uh, show the scheduled jobs that means the transits that are yet to start and any pending jobs the di demand indicators show how many trucks are online in particular cities like as of now we can see riyadh jeddah and damam 
so to confirm the same the admin can zoom in and zoom out on the map and he can check the status of the deliveries taking place on the left hand side there is the star performer or the driver who's been performing really well getting the best ratings for on time delivery and also on the left bottom there is a notice board which can uh, help the admin to display any notice for all the users of his platform to run a business it is very important that the owner himself or herself is aware of every single figure so this screen is to help the truck application and the transport application owner to understand how is how his business is doing so on the screen there are a lot of useful statistics so we can start with looking at first of all the total jobs the online total jobs and the pending versus scheduled uh, job comparisons that uh, the company or the business has achieved also there are uh, bifurcations uh, in the filters so all the truck information according to zones according to cities or even according to the status these filters can be used by the admin to check uh, where are uh, the in transit or how successfully the drivers are delivering also there are three very important columns in the colors that you can see in front of you which is the demand status and performance so these figures are basically very important when it comes to the segment the segments are related to what type of uh, delivery or the delivered item is so it can be a flat bed or heavy reefer or heavy fixed side open side it can be a heavy box it can be a heavy curtain heavy tanker heavy cement bulker so what are the types of uh, segments according to that what is their total scheduled demand also what is the status of all these transit items whether the they, they are whether the status is scheduled whether the status is pending to be assigned is it still in transit is it closed is it a rejected by driver or rejected by customer at the end moment the blue column helps the admin to understand what are the pending versus scheduled figures for every segment along with the csv ccv and chv schedules also the logout no number of jobs the average waiting time and what is the average segment weight of every transit so the admin can understand and probably change or modify the operations to optimize the business revenue and the business scale now that you have explored all the panels and applications that are associated in a transportation truck platform and if you are intrigued in making one such platform for your business immediately reach out to the experts at a purple and get your project started today now we will view the carrier panel in a truck pickup and delivery service application so on logging in the company's carrier panel owner is going to see this dashboard now this first screen which is the dashboard is going to basically give the carrier owner a basic overview of what is going on how many uh, total earnings are there what are the pending earnings how many drivers are registered with every branch right below that there are some more statistics on driver duty analytics and how many online drivers are there at the moment in the form of graph these things help in a weekly analysis also Next is the branch management module in the menu. So first comes the city branch where in the carrier can enter the address of the city branch. This includes the name of the branch, the exact location with the latitude and longitudes. There's also the sub branches uh, that are in the same city and uh, again there are more parent branch details that can be entered by the carrier. Under the manage staff module, the staff that is working at every branch can be managed from here. All their contact details and their duty details are given over here. The carrier can also add new staff members and give them the access. Next is the manage drivers module in the menu. So, whomsoever driver is assigned with a particular uh, pickup and delivery duty will be 
mentioned over here their status can be also uh, seen over here whether they are active or not also the verify checkbox helps the carrier to uh, give the verification to the drivers there can be new drivers added from the same area all the details can be added regarding the driver's license details also and license number also the validity of the license the image file can also be attached over here the original document the driver can also be edited over here so any changes in the profile can be done hit by hitting the pencil icon the settings can also be done, uh, added over here which includes what all details does the driver have the access to so this involves the earnings access whether the price of that particular pickup and delivery service is going to be visible to the driver or not all of those things can be seen from here also if the driver is preferred for a particular uh, destinations those details can be kept over here so it will be easier for the carrier to assign the duties under the manage trucks module in the menu you can see very clearly that the truck types and the carriers are assigned over here what is the capacity of that truck what is the model of that truck the plate number and if there are any twist locks available on that particular uh, vehicle or not so all of those things can be seen from here also the plus button can help the carrier to add any new truck vehicles this includes the truck registration number and the expiration date, if there's any truck insurance, port permissions allowed, odometers, color of the vehicle, plate number also, truck insurance number and other uh, PTA permits can also be attached over here. It is necessary to attach the original documents in the platform. Then there is a manage booking section. So from here, the carrier can basically manage all the bookings. So this involves the date ranges, filters also, and can also view all the entries of the bookings here. There's also a search box to aid the search and check the payment status from the same place. Then there's a driver payouts module in the menu, which allows the carrier to see uh, who all drivers are the ones who's uh, loading cash amount and um, the pending payout is uh, remaining if there's any payout that they've already collected so all of those data entries can be found here more details about the driver can be seen from the driver reports that are generated over here there's again a filter uh, in order to search for a specific driver report last one is the port permission so if there are any ports from where the uh, goods have to be picked up or delivered so those port permissions uh, can be given by the carrier himself or herself until when that permission is going to be valid can also be mentioned over here in the expiration date the zone can also be mentioned over here for the port the job pool section is basically a very cumulative uh, section wherein every single detail about the bookings can be seen the shipper's name the booking type the destination and the origin location details the scheduled date and time for the same what type of a vehicle carried those particular goods so all of those data can be seen over here in a very uh, simple tabulated format and the right hand side menu can allow the carrier to log out as well as change the password or edit the profile so yes, that is it. That's how the carrier panel works in a pickup and delivery platform solution. So guys, this is all about the core features of our platform truck transportation. Other than that, there are many advanced features like fleet management system for transport industry, wallet management, account management, report and invoice system, and many more. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. Please get in touch with us to discuss more in a brief.